In every season of America's Got Talent, there emerges a contestant whose audition is just so captivating. Everyone envisions that person reaching the finals from the very moment they step onto the stage. In the memorable season 18, that contestant was none other than Roland Abante, a Filipino fisherman whose soulful voice and undeniable talent quickly made him a standout in the competition. Despite Roland's previous breakout as a viral star a decade ago, capturing the hearts of millions, the intervening years saw him face the reality of life's challenges. Surprisingly, Roland found himself undertaking odd jobs to make ends meet, creating an unexpected twist in his narrative. When he appeared on AGT Season 18, fans eagerly anticipated how this resilient and immensely talented fisherman would once again rise to the forefront of the competition. Join us as we uncover what America's Got Talent didn't tell you about Roland Abante. Roland Abante was born on the 3rd of August 1978 in the humble city of Cebu, Philippines. He comes from an impoverished background that would have deterred many from pursuing their dreams. Despite the challenges posed by financial constraints, Roland navigated through life by taking on various odd jobs. In the midst of life's hardships, he clung to the dream of expressing himself through song. Whenever the opportunity presented itself, Roland sought solace and expression in the local karaoke bars, pouring his heart into every note and lyric. In 2009, amidst the struggles, Roland found love and got married. This union blessed him with the joy of raising two children, adding layers of responsibility to his already challenging life. Undeterred, he continued to pursue his passion for singing, becoming a beacon of inspiration for those who face similar struggles. In 2014, Roland Abante became an internet sensation when a video of him singing Michael Bolton's rendition of To Love Somebody went viral on social media, accumulating millions of views and shares. Presently, his YouTube video has reached an impressive 7 million views. His exceptional talent did not go unnoticed, and comedian Vice Gander extended an invitation for Abante to appear on Gandangabi Vice, where he had the opportunity to perform a duet with his longtime idol, Gary Valenciano. Roland also showcased his musical prowess on ASAP, sharing the stage with Arnold Pineda, the Filipino vocalist of Journey. Abante's popularity even transcended borders, as American talk show host Ellen DeGeneres extended an invitation for him to appear on a show. Unfortunately, Roland mentioned conflicts with his management that prevented him from accepting the opportunity at the time. In 2017, Roland Abante ventured into the world of original music with the release of his mini-album Bunot, marking a significant milestone in his musical journey. This collection comprised four distinctive tracks, each bearing its unique flavor and showcasing Roland's versatility as an artist. A Nino, crafted by the talented Dr. Nick Ascario, captured the essence of Roland's artistry, while Ati Louiama's composition, Para Kang Bali, added a touch of whimsy to the repertoire. The soulful strains of Love Changes Everything by Joel Laporto resonated with Abante's emotive vocals, and the poignant Sabahin Mona with music by Vincent Borromeo and lyrics by Alan Aki complemented his musical journey. Produced under the skilled guidance of Joel Laporto and Alan Aki, this mini-album was a testament to Roland's commitment to originality and artistic expression. The album was released under Homeworks Music and was available for global audiences on popular platforms such as iTunes and Spotify. The same year, Roland also participated as a contestant in ABS-CBN's Tawag and Tanghalen, TNT Season 2, a segment featured on the noontime show It's Showtime. During his time in the competition, he faced off against defending champion Adeline Rabulan. Roland's memorable performance included a rendition of Michael Bolton's Said I Love You, But I Lied, showcasing his vocal talent and musical prowess. His impressive performance earned him a notable final score of 93.8%, which made him a daily winner. Although Roland Abante excelled in his performances and became a daily winner, he fell short of winning the championship. Adeline Rabulan, his competitor, also delivered a strong performance, with Jennifer Hudson's I Am Changing, earning a score of 90.6%. Despite the competition's outcome, Roland's participation in TNT was a unique experience in his life. 
It won't be wrong to say that Roland became a worldwide sensation after his AGT audition went on air. Amidst his daily routines of catching fish and providing transportation services on his motorbike, Roland revealed that singing was his cherished pastime, particularly at neighborhood karaoke sessions. Speaking through an interpreter, Roland emotionally turned to the judges, explaining that being on the show was his lifelong dream. Heidi Klum, curious about his motivation, received an emotional response from Roland, leading her to join him on stage for an embrace. The talented singer captivated the audience with his powerful rendition of When a Man Loves a Woman. His soulful performance not only earned him a standing ovation, but also secured four yes votes from the impressed panel of judges. Tears welled up in Roland's eyes as he concluded the song. Following the moving performance, Sofia Vergara predicted a change in Roland's life, suggesting that he might need to reconsider his fishing endeavors. Simon Cowell, praising the singer and expressing initial concern for his nervousness, he acknowledged Roland's remarkable transformation during the audition. Before Howie Mandel could share his praise, Roland, unable to contain his excitement, declared Simon Cowell as his favorite judge. In response, Simon invited him for a hug, commending him with, You're amazing. With four yes votes secured, Roland progressed to the next round of AGT. The video of his audition on YouTube gained rapid popularity, accumulating nearly 4 million views within two days, and currently has surpassed 11 million views. Roland's elimination in the semi finals of America's Got Talent Season 18 left audiences and fans stunned. It undoubtedly marks one of the most shocking eliminations in the show's history. Widely considered the undeniable frontrunner among the finalists, Roland's powerful performances had consistently garnered acclaim throughout the competition. His rendition of Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You not only earned him another standing ovation, but also quickly became viral, amassing an impressive 1.2 million YouTube views in less than 24 hours. The unexpected exit from the qualifying round was met with disappointment from both the audience and the judges. Heidi even said that she truly wished she could press a golden buzzer for him so that he could stay. His journey on the show, while cut short, left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers and judges. Following his unexpected exit from America's Got Talent, Roland Abante experienced a wave of emotions, including deep disappointment. Recognizing the toll of the competition, his manager Joel Sebag took the initiative to provide Roland with a much-needed respite. The duo embarked on a mini-break to the picturesque landscapes of Hawaii, offering Roland a chance to recharge and find solace amidst the natural beauty. Although Roland's AGT journey reached its conclusion, the support and care demonstrated by his manager and those around him highlighted the genuine connections forged during the competition. Despite the disappointment, Roland found solace in the fact that he had become a recognizable face in the United States, achieving a significant milestone in his musical career. Looking forward, Roland Abante has exciting plans on the horizon. He shared his social media accounts that he's gearing up for a tour across various cities in the USA and Canada. Recently, the anticipation among America's God Talent fans has reached a new height, as the possibility of a collaboration between two outstanding Filipino artists, Marcelito Pomoy and Roland Abante, became a reality. The excitement surged when a photo featuring the two singing sensations at the airport surfaced on Instagram, igniting speculation and hopes for an unforgettable joint performance. Marcelito Pomoy, who rose to fame as the winner of Filipinas Got Talent Season 2 in 2011, continued to captivate audiences globally, securing a remarkable fourth-place finish on AGT The Champion Season 2 in 2020. On the other hand, Roland made a lasting impact on AGT Season 18, earning accolades for his soulful renditions, particularly his unforgettable performance of When a Man Loves a Woman, which garnered millions of views on YouTube. The unexpected meeting at the airport signifies a moment of camaraderie and mutual respect between these two immensely talented Filipino musicians. Fans are buzzing with excitement, envisioning the magic that Marcelito and Roland could create together on stage. This post-AGT chapter of Roland reflects not only his resilience, but also the broader impact of his decade-long journey to fame.